Hi, everyone. My name is Albert, one of the co-founders of VectorShift. I'm going to film a quick tutorial today on a use case that we actually use internally on how to actually take a lead list and optimize the lead list and augment it with additional data. So one thing I like to do when I have a list of leads that we target is to first classify the leads right into the industry and understand the title of the person, whether they're kind of an engineering or IT type title or an operations type title. Um, I always like to classify the level of the person, whether it's C-suite, VP, director, or manager. And I like to have a quick summary of the company that we could potentially reaching out to. You can imagine then you can use kind of this information to write personalized emails, et cetera, when you're actually targeting these leads. This is also, we use this internally to actually you know, run analysis um, on this data after this kind of data is enhanced. Let's go ahead and show you how to build this in VectorShift um, and how to augment this data set. All right, so we have this feature in VectorShift called Workbooks. And what Workbooks are, you can think of this as Microsoft Excel uh, paired with VectorShift. It allows you to create multiple pipelines on the same screen. And when you go in, it's just a basic pipeline, but it allows you to kind of create different tabs and then reference different pipelines seamlessly within the same workbook. All right. So whenever you're doing kind of a bulk process in VectorShift, which is, you know, we want to run essentially the same process on every item of list, you do something called list build. And you activate list build by pressing this list build button over here. And what it does is it passes a list in and it does the operation on every item of the list. So how to actually build this pipeline is you always want to think about how to actually do the process on one item. And then you want to call the item, you know, that function in the list to apply that to a whole list. So let's go ahead and actually work through an example of how to actually build this workflow just for a single, um, single lead. All right. So let's just say hypothetically, we want to be able to take in a company name. And then we want to also be able to take in the company website. This kind of pairs to, you know, column C and column D. And we can use that information to figure out, you know, the industry and then to also write the summary of, um, you know, uh, for this, for this lead. So let's go ahead and do this. So if we're just doing it, say for, you know, this first lead, um, we want to first scrape the website. So let's go ahead and scrape it with the URL scraper. Then we want to be able to write a summary of this website. Let's pull out an LM node and let's use like a cheap bottle like GPT-40 mini. Let's go ahead and select that. And then let's just prompt it. I have a prompt that I previously written to generate a summary of what the company does. And then the context is coming from the URL loader. All right, so we're scraping the website and then we're passing the scraped data to this large language model to summarize the data. Now, the other thing we want to do is we want to categorize the lead. So let's go ahead and pull out a categorizer node. So really this lead I know um, because I created this list, it really only has two types of companies as industrial companies and it has healthcare companies. Uh, you know, you could have infinite different industries, but let's just constrain into this for now. Let's just say, you know, I, I also prepare this ahead of time. You know, your job is to categorize this company, right? And the company is coming from company name. Let's go ahead and call it company name into healthcare or IT. Company info is coming from the URL loader. Let's go ahead and connect company info. All right. So in the categorizer node, it takes in all this data. It's going to put into one or two categories. So let's just put, go ahead and say, we're going to have, be in the healthcare or the um, industrials category, not IT. So let's give a, 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 um, a description of each of those categories. So these are healthcare companies such as like hospitals, um, pharma, uh, et cetera, industrials, industrials companies, say like, raw materials, etc. And I'm going to also say classify 
all companies that are not in healthcare into industrials. So this you can this can act kind of like a catch-all. All right, so let's go ahead and now deal with the outputs. So this pipeline, we're gonna use two outputs. So one is um, the category, and the other one is gonna be the summary. Let's review this pipeline. So this fills out two of the, um, the columns in the spreadsheet, the industry and the summary. We're actually gonna deal with this uh, in a separate pipeline. Uh, but let's just go ahead and actually try this out. So let's just say we want to scrape um, this website and then the company name is over here. And then we're going to pretend we're running it on, on the first row. So we're passing in this data. Uh, we're scraping the website. After this finishes scraping, it's going to pass this data both to this LM and to this categorizer node. And then it's going to spit out um, both the category and then the summary. Finish scraping. Now we're categorizing it right now. Um, output one is generated, and then output zero is generated as well. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and actually label these outputs um, a little bit better. So this is the industry, and this is the summary. All right. Let's go ahead and name this pipeline lead enrichment sub pipeline. Make sure to deploy a pipeline as well. All right, so one thing we need, now need to do is we want to create now the main pipeline that sits above this um, that calls us in a loop. And then in that pipeline, we also handle the lead type and the level. So to create another pipeline, just go ahead and click this plus button, click new pipeline. And let's go ahead and take out a Google Sheet node. We're going to read from the sheet. Let's go ahead and reintegrate my vector shift email. This just pops up like the OAuth flow so that you just click in and automatically does the integration. And then we're going to pick the lead list May 15th file. So let's go ahead and search for that file. There we go. And then we're going to select um, the sheet. And then the different fields, right, the different column names are going to appear over here, right? So let's go ahead and first of all, call the pipeline that we just made, right? It's called lead enrichment sub pipeline. And we want to call this in list node, which means we want to run this on every item in the list that we're going to pass in. What this read for sheet node is going to do, it's going to take in, let's just say the company name or then the website is all this data is going to be passed in as a list, right? It's like progressive components, comma, Pittsburgh tanking tower group, comma, America Gilsonite, right? And then we're going to pass the data and then we're going to apply the function that we just made, this pipeline, to every item in that list. So the company name is Google Sheet.company name. And the company website is Google Sheet.company website. And then we have error handling um, to set fail runs to default value. It means I say, hey, like maybe we we're not able to scrape the website. We don't want to fail the whole run. We want to just set it to a default value. In this case, it's a blank text field. All right. So um, let's go ahead and just finish this part. Let's drag on another Google Sheet node. And we're going to use column list writer to write this data into the Google Sheet. And just make sure we're using the right integration. We're using 37. Let's go ahead and make sure we're using 37. Let's go pick a file. And let's go ahead and find the same file. And then we're going to pipe this data as a list into the industry and the summary column. So let's go find industry. So it's pipeline.industry. So we're going to take this data, right? Let's just say it's industrials, industrials, healthcare. We're going to pipe it into industrials, industrials, healthcare. And then the summary is going to go into this um, summary field. Let's go Google uh, uh, pipeline.summary. There we go. All right. So two more fields to quickly do. Basically, this is um, an, an analysis of this title um, to understand what level they are and then what type of person they are. Are they like an IT person or are they kind of an operations person? So we're going to actually just handle this at the master pipeline level. Um, so let's just go ahead and first take out a text field 
that what I'm going to use to do the classification, right? So I'm going to write that your jobs classify the title to IT or operations classify all non-IT related titles into operations. So operations is kind of going to be the catch-all. And then we're going to use the categorizer node, right? And we're going to run this in bulk, right? So we're going to apply the same categorization framework into every item into the, in the list. So we're going to categorize Google Sheet dot title, right? And um, the item we're going to go categorize, right, is whether um, they're IT or operations. So let's go ahead and write IT or operations here. And let's just say it's like an IT or technical related title. And operations is like operations and non-IT related titles. All right. So with this categorize, I'm going to give it this additional context um, coming from this text node. You can notice that this is text, but this is a list of text. So to actually convert the type, I'm going to use this duplicate node. What this does is it basically duplicates this item into the same, same number of times as the total number of items in this list so that we can actually pass that in. So this item to match is Google Sheet title. So let's just say, you know, this sheet has a hundred items, right? We're going to duplicate this a hundred times. So it's going to be a list of the same thing um, so that we can pass that in parallel into each of um, each of these items when we run this in parallel. So let's go ahead and connect duplicate list dot output over here. All right. So now this is going to be a list of categories coming out of here. And then we're going to put this into lead type. Let's just say categorizer dot category. All right, so now we have three of the fields filled out. All right, um, the title is actually quite similar. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through it really fast again. It's actually the same um, structure. We're going to take a text node. We're going to duplicate it a bunch of times, the same number of times as the number of items in the list. So we're going to duplicate text one. And this item to match is Google Sheets dot um title we're going to drag out another categorizer node All right and then we're going to turn on list mode because we're going to run this process on every title again to categorize the title this is going to be google sheet title and then we're going to connect this prompt this duplicated prompt into the additional context so let's say duplicate list one dot output and then we're going to create the category so let's just say it's c-suite vp director or manager and add manager being the catch-all um, i've written some prompts to help with this so just give some examples of like what c-suite is and you know, what vp is uh, what director is and what manager is and i have um, error handling on as well let's go ahead and attach categorizer one to the level. All right, so let's go ahead and review this pipeline really quickly. So what this does is we're gonna read from this Google Sheet um, the necessary columns, right? Especially company name, website, and title. They're gonna be coming in as a list, right? And we're gonna pass um, the website and the company name to this pipeline. Um, we're gonna run this pipeline on every item in the list. And the pipeline is gonna scrape the website, it's gonna generate a summary, it's gonna categorize what industry it's in. And then we're going to pipe the industry and the summary lists into the industry and summary uh, columns here. And then we're going to kind of run the same process twice on the title to categorize it. We're going to categorize the, the level and then whether or not they're an IT or operations person. Uh, we're going to duplicate this prompt the same number of times as the items in the list. Then we're going to run the categorizer in list mode on every uh, person, uh, every title. And then we're going to pipe those two lists into this Google Sheet. All right, let's go ahead and run this. It's going to take a take a few seconds. Um, let's go ahead. So you can see this run menu running. You can track kind of the progress of the pipeline over here, you know, as well. You can see we have spun up a lot of categorizer notes because uh, you know there's hundreds of items in this list. There we go. Looks like the pipeline just finished running, um, and we can head over to the Google Sheet. And you can see everything is populated, right? So it's classified, for example, um, 
you know, the senior project manager into operations. It's also a manager, you know, directors as directors. It's also, you know, summarized what the company does over here. Um, and here, like all this is very standardized. I can actually now run, uh, you know, analyses based on, you know, these, these fields. Um, and now you have an augmented data set that you can use. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful um, and, you know, feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.